Hey everybody, we got something great today. <clears throat> Just showed up, it's the AK Racing Premium Quality Gaming and Working Chair. I'm excited because I like the way it looks and I'm going to let you know if I like the way it feels. Okay, let's get into the box now. Let's see what's in here. metal base. Looking good so far. Nice gloss black. And here comes it. Oh, look at that. Black and white. Beautiful. I'm excited about this. I hear this is the first round in the States. What a great soft feel to that too. It's just beautiful design, got a lot of support going on. I have a Corvette Z06. This is the quality we're talking about. Alright, it's not carbon fiber, but don't need it in the we're in here. Let's see what's buried in here. Okay, so we got our uh, headrest here. Nope, this is the lumbar support. So the lumbar support's gonna go right around here, give us some nice back um, support, and we got our headrest here. Headrest is going to go right about there, give us head support. And yeah, let's see what else. I think that's all the wheels and mounting material. And then we have the base. We've got some real nice packaging. Everything is put together beautifully. got our mounting arms here, melt the back to it, and beautiful setup. Look at that. Really soft and supple feel. I love the way that feels. Okay, let's get this box out of the way and we'll move forward. Okay, got that box out of the way. Let's see what we got here. Casters for the uh, base. Support. This is the base, the tilt base mechanism that's going to go underneath the seat. Side covers. Piston for the center and the cover for the piston. Let's get this stuff out of the way so we can see what's going on. AK Racing. Beautiful. Good set of instructions. Nice quality brochure looking. Semi-gloss finish. Really high quality stuff going on here. So let's start. I'm not a big instruction kind of guy, so I like to win it myself. I like to get all the parts out in front of me. Where to go from there. What a great touch. Look at this. They give us gloves to put it together. Some of these parts have a little grease on them from, from uh, shipping, and they're doing a nice job trying to keep us looking. Let's turn this upside down and see how we're going to meet this. I should say mount this. Okay? So that's looking good right there. What they did is instead of giving us a bag of nuts and bolts and, and allens, they mounted every, everything in there. So we just have to spin them off. They're just a little snug mounted. And 
by spinning them off, we can then just mount up. We don't have to worry about which bolt goes where and what size. No, we always try to measure them up there. So this is working out well. Good design. Okay, so let's get this mounted. As you can see right on here, which you're not going to see from that camera, is it's actually marked front. So although we have some instructions here, I know that that's the front. I'm going to place it towards the front. This is the front of the seat. And I'm going to put these bolts right back in where I got them from. There's a washer and a lock washer. Let's get them threaded in. And if they do fall apart, you've got the flat washer. The lock washer goes closest to the bolt head. Now I'm going to take the base and I'm going to put our casters in place. The casters are pretty easy. They're just going to snap in just like that. Beautiful fit. Good fitment. No complaints there. Now we got a great base to work with. Okay, let's see what else we're going to do. On the base, just place that in there. And we're going to take these cones, which will allow it to do a nice little decorative color as it rises and falls. We're going to put that here. Now, of course, I am not following the instructions because I'm just a real man. I don't need instructions. Not until I screw it up and then I'll go back and look. Okay? So we got this set up here. I am going to now mount this on the base. And this just slides in place. So we've got our mount hole here. This shaft is just going to slide right into this hole. Okay. Like I said, the shaft goes into the hole. That's a lifelong lesson that you'll be learning about the shaft constantly going into the hole. All right, this one has a little hickey on here to make this nice and good looking and this one is just going to snap on as, as well. Maybe, just not sure how. <laughs> like I said, why look at instructions when you can somehow figure it out yourself. And I see that's why we have an extra bolt. And that's just going to go right inside there. Use this. line up to that hole. Okay, that's started. That one's there. Now comes the interesting part. That is mounting the back on. And great fittings. I just noticed that. Look at these nice um, allens that are there. Remember, we're going to remove those first. One side, flipping it over, and take the two out of this side. All right, we have this off. We're going to place this inside the two brackets. And now we're going to mount it right back up. We're going to have one of these screws at the top. By wiggling this back a little bit, we'll get some elevation change so that we can line up the holes in the boat. here because of the potential of misaligning this, you want to make sure you start them by hand. That'll stop you from stripping them out as they go in. So again, similar process as I did before, I want to do one on each side, get this lined up and mounted correctly, and then I'll come back and I'll snug everything up afterwards. And I want to make sure I have enough mobility being able to jiggle this to line everything up properly. If I start them, if I start them later, um, I won't be able to do that. Remember, start it by hand first. 
once you're sure it's started, then you can start spinning it up. Let's get this one in here. We'll just wiggle a little bit. I started it by hand. It's working good. Got one more down on this side. And again, wiggling until I find that hole, pushing that back to line up the hole. What I did is I used this little uh, Allen that came with it as well. It has a little uh, Phillips head on it. And that little point I used as a fisher just to go in there and look for a hole. Now I'm going to test the chair. I'm going to sit in the chair. And in here. set. The chair is working fine. I feel comfortable now about buttoning the chair up, meaning tightening all these all these bolts, because then I'm going to put a decorative color cover over these that came with it, so you don't see these bolts. So we want to get these a little snug so that we don't fall off the chair. Here's our decorative cover. We're going to put this on. It has little cutouts for where the bolt heads go. Just going to fit that in there. We have these long allens. It's going to go in the center. There is a third hole right here. We're going to put that in the hole. Just hand tight with that. It is plastic. You don't want to hold it tight. Same thing here. The rounded corner goes up. We're going to take the bolt. Come in here. Find the hole. That's good. This one's a snap in place. That's it. That's how quick you can put this chair together and start enjoying it. This thing's going to go on around the top. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm ready for gaming. Let's start. I love the chair. Let's see how you adjust it first. Bring it up. Very smooth action. Good height adjustment. We have up and down on the arms. Super smooth, very comfortable seat. Got the lumbar support, got the headrest. So the chair is, is capable of going um, even more vertical than I probably want. Wouldn't hurt no matter like that. Or you could actually go in a recline position, feet up. Okay, that's how you do it. I run through a lot of chairs, and I think I'm going to be keeping this one for a while. It's got a great feel to it. I like the lumbar support. I sit in the chair a lot. This is going to hopefully make me a lot more comfortable. Thanks again for watching. Look out for the AK Racing Seat.